So we've covered now what the learning difficulties are that Henry Winkler had. We've looked at the different types of learning difficulties uh, that are common in Western countries, at least. And we've spoken about some of the psychological ramifications of having those primary neurological learning difficulties. Now, what I really admire about Henry Winkler is he didn't let it beat him. He didn't, let, he didn't succumb to these challenges. In fact, he thrived in spite of them. So let's look at some of the positive things that Henry Winkler did uh, to, to get by in spite of having these learning difficulties. Now, one of the things, one of the statements he, he makes in, in the clip, which I, I really love, is if you want something bad enough, you just figure out a way to get it. Now, Henry made it on Happy Days, which, which was an acting role, and surely in acting roles there is a lot of reading to do. So if you've got a reading disorder, it's going to be a real challenge. So what, what did he use to, to compensate for that? I think the first tool that he used was memorization, and that's not uncommon in uh, people who have learning difficulties. So the first strategy is he memorized. He memorized the lines probably better than anyone else could, and there's good evidence that people with learning disabilities have above average memory because that's how they get by. Um, Henry Winkler currently does readings at schools for children and although it looks like he's reading out of a book, he's not reading. He's actually memorised his own books um, and he just holds the book to make it look like he is giving a reading. So memorisation was the first strategy that Henry Winkler used to get around part of his learning difficulties. The other thing that he mentioned in the clip is that he improvised. Now, improvisation uh, for Henry meant that when the memorisation process failed, as, as he put it, he would summarise a whole paragraph with a simple phrase or gesture, like, hey, or whoa. Um, and I suppose he, he, he would have developed some very good acting abilities to show that whatever was in words in body language. So he, he probably also developed um, higher than average or, or a better way of communicating via body language. So he memorised, he improvised, and in doing so, he became cool. <laughs>